What up fams, welcome to another Rock That Roshi video review and today we're going to be taking a look at the Roshi LD1000s in the Varsity Royals. We're going to go ahead and talk about the highlights based on my personal experience. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and dive right into it. These dropped in June 2015 and they retail at a price of $100. I got mine at Nike.com but you can find them in other online retailers. They brought back the classic running shoe, the LD1000 and created a hybrid with a Roshi one that we all know and love. What you get is a brand new shoe that is now part of the Roshi line. After rocking the USAs, I just had to get another color. However, with my time with the USAs, did I find anything new? Well, let's find out. When it comes to the material makeup of the Roshi, we have a mesh upper found in the forefront and mid panels of the Roshi. We have suede from the eyelets down to the toe cap and back of the heel cap. And then there's hits of leather coming from the swoosh, the upper part of the heel, and the inner lining and the collar. Now here's a closer look at the detailing of the Roshi. On the back of the shoe, we have a look at the suede heel cap, and on top of that, we have the Varsity Maze leather with the Nike Ward stamp in Varsity Royal. Sticking to the LD1000 silhouette, they made sure that the tongue was exactly the same way back then in the 70s. As you can see here, the tongue is made out of the foam and it isn't stitched closed. I honestly think aesthetically this looks great on the Roshi. In the front of the shoe, we get a better look at the hits of suede coming from the top all the way down to the bottom of the Roshi. Also replacing the front pull tab, we have the vintage Nike logo. The Roshi LD1000s come with flat laces. I still believe that this is a perfect lace for this shoe, and it's the perfect length as well. Still, the laces may attract suede residue on the laces, but no harm here. For the inside, we get a Varsity Maze sock liner. And then we have the classic Nike pinwheel logo in Varsity Royal. The only brand new thing I like to report here is the leather inner lining. After wearing the USAs for a full work shift, I noticed that the back of my heel felt a bit uncomfortable due to the moisture that gets rubbed against the leather. For those who wear tube socks or longer socks, there's no issue here. However, for someone like me who wears no-show socks, it just felt a little bit uncomfortable. But that's the only thing that I found. And last but not least, we have the white natural motion midsole. And that would do it for my review, I'll leave you guys on the on feet video and I'll see you guys at the end. Alright guys, and that does it for my review on the Roshi LD1000s in the Varsity Royal. Let me know what you guys think about this shoe in the comments down below. I know coming from the 
USA colorway. You guys didn't really like it as much, but I still think that this colorway is pretty dope because this blue and this yellow, um, it's definitely one of my favorite color combinations and it's really reeks just like vintage and I really like that. And I really like this colorway because I'm gonna actually rock this over at Disneyland, rocking like a Donald Duck kind of theme and I just thought this is gonna be the perfect shoe for it so that's the reason why I'm, I'm gonna get them. Hopefully when I do wear them at uh, Disneyland um, it won't feel uncomfortable here in the leather lining here but I think I'm gonna be okay so um, yeah if you guys enjoyed my video go ahead and leave me a thumbs up share this with other Roshi fans out there and of course subscribe for more Roshi content. But that's all that I have for you guys for today. Thank you for checking out my video. Until the next time guys, stay humble, stay inspired, spread those positive vibes. But whatever you guys do, don't forget to rock that Roshi. Alright guys, I'm your host Rai, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.